right, my moonbeams. My uh, fellow moonbeams. To pick up where I left off. We were on cats, what they call the definitive version, for some obscure reason. Another reason why they shouldn't call it the definitive version is because they have cut out certain parts of the Manga Jerry and Rumple Teaser scene. So uh, you need you need the full Manga Jerry, Rumple Teaser, Little Joe, and Growl Tiger. To make it a definitive version. Otherwise, it is not definitive at all. I even have proof that Little Joe is a Jellicle. Jellicle names. Notice number 17. Little Joe the Moonlight Cat is a Jellicle. This obviously is a copy of a program, but it is still a it is still proof that Little Joe is a Jellicle. And now to get to the reason of this video. It appears that there were a few stragglers of my uh, anime collection that uh, missed out. I showed the Legend of Korra yesterday. I also have book two, Spirits. Have I'm going to be an angel and this is about some little girl who wants to be an angel and uh, has no idea of what an angel is and hell girl that's and as far as jellical names go We have, let's see, which one is it? It's in the Turwitz. And Mr. Mistoffelees. For anyone who doesn't know Gretchen Altorowitz, you may have seen her on YouTube. This character in uh, The Wind Rises kind of looks like her in a uh, suit. Back when she was young. She wore glasses when uh, she was in Cats. Graduate high school with her. 
Yes. Just as Rumtum Tugger graduated college with certain jellicles of his, I graduate high school with Mr. Mistopheles. And now for the rest of my collection, my DVD collection. Uh, because I have done certain videos yesterday, I will not be doing them today, but I will be doing the videos one shelf at a time. So, Night of the Roxbury, the Pigdabi Brothers. Anyone who doesn't know about uh, Stephen Doug Butabi, do your research on SNL, Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live. Ah, oh, there's the mailman! Mail just got here. I'm wondering when he was going to get here. Uh, Army of Darkness. It's the third part of the Evil Dead trilogy with uh, um, with Bruce Campbell. Third part of Evil Dead with Bruce Campbell. The other two I don't own on DVD. I don't know on a VHS, and uh, those are in storage. Annie. If you're gonna own a copy of Annie, own this version. Because uh, this is the only good version of Annie. Because uh, the others just don't compare to Aileen Quinn. Batman with Robert Lowry and, uh, what's his name? Duncan? Uh, Sean Duncan? Robert Lowry and, um, wait a second. Ah, John Duncan. Robert Lowry and John Duncan as Robin. And the 1989 version. Anyways, 1989's Batman. I also have a tapestry on my door. But if I show that, I'd probably be in... Uh, Probably get a copyright strike on me if I did that. However, 1989's Batman was the first VHS I ever owned. The sleeve to this has since been wrecked beyond repair. It uh, got sat on and pretty much uh, destroyed so yeah so I put it in this thing instead and labeled it Batman so so that's what happened to Tim Burton's Batman is my very first VHS now lives in this thing Too bad I can't say it was my very first DVD. That goes to Cowboy Bebop the movie instead. And it also goes to The Incredible Hulk. This was also one of my first DVDs.
Benny and June. Or as I like to call it, Insane Girl lives with an asshole who has uh, some insane guy move in with him. Don't watch this movie. The Dark Knight. This is the second installment of the Batman franchise of, uh, of the Batman franchise because it's got uh, Heath Ledger. <sighs> oh, there you go. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. We will miss you. Died way too young. And The Dark Knight Rises. Saw it in theaters, uh, so I have yet to unwrap it. Should I say the name or uh, not? Because if I say the name three times, he might appear. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I do not own Bogus Journey. Rest in peace, George Carlin. You might not like me for this one, but uh, Bill Cosby himself. This is back when uh, he was very funny. I actually like this. I do not like the fact that people are prosecuting him, persecuting him for something that happened before I was born. I was a child when these allegations went on, so, uh, the whatever. I, I don't care about who who assaulted who with criminal charges. I mean, if she can get away with suing Bill Cosby for uh, sexual assault, I should get away with suing my uncle for uh, what he did to me when I was six. Two versions of Blade Runner. One is the director's cut, and the other is the final cut. Braveheart. Anyone who's not seen this movie is either too young to know about it or or something. I saw it when I was like 
Oh. Yeah, I was... I was like 20 when I saw it. But I'm a cheerleader! She's gay. Just like Elvis Dumbledore. And if you say his name in a mirror five times, he comes out. Also have farewell to the flesh. Captain America. The first Avenger. In 3D. This actually has uh, three formats. It's got the Blu-ray, the DVD, and digital. Carrier Stare! This is a. No. Yeah. It's a series. Johnny Depp's Charlie in the Chocolate Factory versus uh, Willy Wonka's. Uh, versus uh, Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Person I'd. Uh, Personally, I want Willy Wonka. I like Gene Wilder better. Rest in peace, Gene. Shirt A. Kavatica. You should look up the Kavatica spider in the Wikipedia. It's quite interesting. Chicken Run. Done by the same guys who did Wallace and Gromit. Just look at those faces. And Coraline. Don't go in that door. There's a... I mean, look at this creepy hand thingy. That's scary. By the way, when I said she's gay, I'm talking about the character, not the actress. Just to avoid any stragglers this time, Batman vs. Superman. Anyway, continuing the collection. That lady and the tramp. And the Herbie collection. Love Bug. Herbie Rides Again. Uh, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo. And uh, the one I saw in theaters because I was four years old. Herbie Goes Bananas. Or was I five? I can't remember. Four or five. I think I was four. Frozen. If I could be you for a day. The first body swap movie I ever saw. I think this gave rise to Thundercats body swap and other body swap things that came. Freaky Friday. Of course, with Thundercats, uh, that body swap was due to the fact that uh, was due to the fact that uh, the 
Vulture Man had uh, created a device. Forgive the absence of hat there for a second, but uh, I had just eaten dinner. <clears throat> Escape to Witch Mountain. Uh, Tony and Tia, we see them for the first time. These two kids are aliens. I like this version better than the remake with um, Vincent Vichelli because what's with the purple light and what's with the kids uh, the whole we're twin no, no. that movie Forget that movie exists, please. Toss that one in the trash. It's... No. It's like Chicken Little. No. We'll, we'll, we'll not discuss that movie ever again. Please. No. <laughs> uh. Dumbo. And dinosaur. Darby O'Gill and the Little People. The only living actor left is Sean Connery. Janet Monroe, Janet Monroe, and Albert Sharp and uh, Jimmy O'Day and all the others have passed away, including the crew. <laughs> Cast and crew alike. The only one left is Sean Connery. Rest in peace to everyone who has passed in the Darby O'Gill sector, including Disney himself. Cinderella. Took me a long time to figure out why when Gus and Jacques are cutting along that line, why the girl mouse gives them that irritated look. Because they're cutting on a line that's meant for trimming the tr trimming the dress so why is she looking at them irritated i mean i'm like okay they they've drawn a dotted line and they're cutting down this dotted line and there's this girl mess drawing another dotted line and they're cutting down the dotted line and she looks at him irritated like and for the longest time i couldn't figure out why until i got this dvd and then i figured out oh they almost cut off her tail that's why They almost cut off a girl. They almost cut off the girl mouse's tail. Well, she shouldn't have had her tail in the way in the first place. So she she had no right to look at him irritated like. Besides, she's the one who told him to go get the trimming. So she was kind of sexist and saying, "Well, you leave this on to the women. You go get the trimming." She's a sexist little mouse, so. She should have had her tail cut off anyway. <laughs> Besides, how does she know that Jacques wasn't in his little mouse hole trying to per work on the perfect little 
not on how to sell sexism. I tell you, I mean, that, that, that was sexism there. I mean, really. Beauty and the Beast. Hey, Gluntine, hey, Gluntine, know how he shine. Your lot and my lot have got to combine and know how they have. Because now I own bed knobs and broomsticks. <laughs> Movie about a witch. You know? I bet her and Mildred Hubble would get along great. <laughs> They're both the worst witch. Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I do not own two, but I have three, so. That's why it's in, so it's in original packaging, is because I don't have two to go with it. I've never seen two. Bolt. I was so hoping Penny would die. I was so hoping she would die in that fire. I, I, I was hoping we, I was, I wanted Penny to die so bad. But no. Bolt has to save her. I was hoping she would die because she's Miley Cyrus. I don't like Miley Cyrus. She's on thin ice. Her and a uh, certain uh, Justin Bieber are on, both on thin ice. Brother Bear. Another Jodie Foster movie. Candle Shoe. If you've never seen this movie, you should see it. Great movie. About a young girl who gets uh, horn swoggled into uh, scamming an old lady. Bambi, and Bambi one and a half. We call it Bambi two, but it's Bambi one and a half. I mean, it's in between. Uh, it's in between two scenes of this movie. Alice in Wonderland, the Unanniversary Edition. Took me forever to get this, Aladdin. Some Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Took me forever to get it. Return of Jafar. 
and the Prince of Thieves. Some of these are my sister's cast-offs. Kids of Degrassi Street. This comes from Canada. Degrassi Junior High. And Degrassi High. I do not own the next generation. Wish I did. Robin Williams is my poetry teacher. I learned everything I I learned everything about poetry from this movie. Uh, rest in peace, Robin Williams. My poetry teacher is dead. Carpe diem! That's why I'm making these videos. Another one of my sister's cast-offs, Dark Shadows, the Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp version. <sighs> Daredevil. <sighs> May he rest in peace. Rest in peace, Michael Clark Duncan. Loved him. Loved him as John Coffey. <laughs> Dances with Wolves. Great movie. Sign in the theaters. And the Corpse Bride. Did not see it in theaters. Did see Coraline in theaters. That's the only stop motion movie I saw in theaters. Alright. I know I started the last line up with uh, Lady and the Tramp. And I'm starting this lineup with Lady and the Tramp again, uh, due to the fact that uh, I have Lady and the Tramp 2, the sequel. So, this is the same DVD, just, uh, it's just, I ha should have ended my first, should have ended last lineup with this one, and live and learn. When doing a DVD set, uh, start with your last ones first. So. <sighs> Next, Harry Poppins. Fortieth anniversary edition. This is the forty-fifth anniversary edition. I like the fortieth anniversary edition better. Mulan. This is the only Disney version. This is the only Disney movie that has a decent, uh, decent video to go with its title soundtrack. I mean, they should have kept the Peeba Bryson version with uh, 
Beauty and the Beast and all the others. They should have kept. They should have left it alone and just kept those originals. They shouldn't have touched them with the the hip hop bebop BS. I mean, yeah, Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan doing uh doing the make a man out of you, yeah. Be a, be a man. Jackie Chan doing Be a Man. Even though, even though it's in Mandarin. It's better than anything on the other DVDs. I also like the cat, ret the cat that looked at the king on this one. Yeah, Jackie Chan Be a Man. Better than the hip hop thing that they did to Peter Pan and all the other things. Ugh. No hip hop, please Le leave it alone. If it's meant to have hip hop in it, then yes, fine, hip hop. But otherwise, no, leave it alone. No deposit, no return. <laughs> Oliver and Company. Ragtag group of canines based on Oliver Twist. But the cat is Oliver Twist. Named my dog after that cat. <laughs> Irony. The Twilight Bark. The thing is, uh, the author of this, uh, the author of the book, wasn't uh, very impressed with her name being small. So Walt said, "Okay, fine. Next time we collaborate, your name will be big." They never collaborated again. As I said, Peter Pan is one of those hip hop dippity dop things that they did to the second start to right. They they messed up the opening theme song to this one with hip hop. I'm like, no, I I can't I can't listen. I I can't watch those videos. Be a man on Mulan. Yes, I can listen to that, even though it's in Mandarin with Jackie Chan. I can uh, I can listen to it because it's actually got the rhythm that that it's actually meant to be with. And by the way, Jackie Chan was the uh, Mandarin voice of Chang. You know what? They should have hired Jackie Chan to do Chang for the Americans as well, other than the other guy. Then, then we would have had both. Then we would have had Jackie Chan for the Americans and for the Mandarins, and he would have done both song. He would have done it in English and in Mandarin, and we would have had the song in English as well. Well, would that have been awesome? I think so. But no, they hired some some other guy. Oh. Too bad I don't work for Disney. Although, my favorite superhero is Gecko Neko. And now that is a copyrighted character. <laughs> uh, also, some theories of. Pixie Hollow. I go with that Peter Pan DVD. A dragon, a dragon, I swear I saw a dragon. I love this movie. Rest in peace, Mickey Rooney. You're such a great actor.
Even though the first time I saw you, you were an old man. I actually saw him, uh, actually saw him, uh, young, too, in, uh, in, uh, portrayals of his, uh, other stuff. I own, uh, other movies. So. First time I saw him, he was old. Pinocchio. When they released, when they released this in theaters, it was like uh, watching it on TV, so I should just watch it on TV. Because <laughs> it's a waste of time to see this in theaters. Don't go watch this in theaters. It's a waste of time. Waste of money. Parts of the Caribbean. And on Stranger Tides. This is Curse of Black Pearl. The other movies are in a different room. In a different collection. Pocahontas. Why was there no blood in this movie? Is it because it's Disney? Because, uh... Ralph Bakshi's movies... They have a lot of blood. Alf Bakshi is known for showing blood in his movies. I mean, have you seen uh, Fire and Ice and uh, Lord of the Rings? Speaking of Lord of the Rings, first time I saw that, when I saw that in the hospital room, uh, I had to see it in the hospital room because uh, I wasn't allowed a TV and... Uh, so they had to bring in a TV with a VHS recorder, VHS player, and so I watched Ralph Bakshi's Lord of the Rings, and uh, the nurse came in, and it was the tail, it was the tail end of the movie, and she, and she got so upset about the blood in the movie, and she's a nurse. She was a nurse. It was like, <laughs> I mean, she's seen. I mean, she's seen worse. I mean, she's like, I mean, she's. I mean, nurses. They see things come in on gurneys. I mean, <laughs> so she's all like, "Is that blood?" I'm like, "Yeah." Is there a problem? <laughs> I mean, I, I was like ten, eleven. I was like 11 at the time, and I'd, I'd seen the movie before, so for me, watching Lord of the Rings was no problem. But the nurse had, had she had issues with me watching Lord of the Rings, watching, that, watching the blood splurt out of those orcs. <laughs> uh, great times in Red Lodge. Uh, Return from Rich Mountain. Uh, Robin Hood. And the Most Wanted Edition. <laughs> Uh, why did they have to change Pluto into uh why did they have to why did they have to mess with Pluto? I mean Schoolhouse Rock, I mean they say Pluto is the farthest one from the sun. Now we have to say it now it's been downgraded since the new millennium.
Sajun Biri. Gremlin's favorite movie, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Double feature of the absent mind of Professor and the Son of Flutter. I should go under D for double. It is under D, it's under D for Disney, so. The Aristocats. The Disney's version of Gay Paris. Black Cauldron. And as I mentioned with Annie, it's it's actually narrated by the guy who directed uh, Annie. <laughs> Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. That's Caspian. And... Voyage of the Dawn Shredder. And the Explorer Pack that goes with that one. So. One of these days I have to uh, make a remake of those movies. The Fox and the Hound. Well, everybody, it's a great, smart, great mass detective. Hunchback to Notre Dame Cathedral. That's the college. The Jungle Book. I do not intend on owning the Jungle Book 2. From what I've seen of that, it doesn't look very uh, interesting. Besides, uh, Phil Harris was dead, and they used uh, John Goodman to voice Baloo. Lion King, special edition. Two pack. <laughs> Box set of the Little Mermaid. All three movies. Yeah, I'm a perfectionist, what can I say? What's this? What's this? There's skeletons everywhere. Where are there? It's Jack Skellington. I go for Christmas. <laughs> Princess and the Frog. Which brings us back to Jack Skellington. Because he's got friends on the other side. Every song in this movie sounds like you got a friend in me. And 
has been argued that his friends are Jack Skellington and those guys. By the way, that noise you just heard was a bunch of DVDs trying to break my computer. Well, seeing how it's getting late, this will be the last list of the night. And it's a short one due to the fact that this came from the same shelf as the Miyazaki's. So, first we have the rescuers and rescuers down under double feature. And the first, when I I had a rescuers coloring book growing up, but uh, I didn't know much about the rescuers since I was one year old when it came out. And my mom was like, "You remember the rescuers, don't you?" I'm like, "No, I don't." He's like, you remember this, don't you? I'm like, no, Mom, I don't. I was a year old. So, yeah. She thought I remembered it, and I didn't remember a darn thing. So. The Santa Claus. And Santa Claus 2. I do not own the Escape Clause. The Sword in the Stone. First time I saw this, I was nine years old. Same time Thundercats came out. The Three Caballeros. I think this is a bootlegged version. My, my mom bought it, so I think it might be bootlegged. I don't know. I don't know if it's bootlegged or not, but hey, I own three Cavaleros. That's all I care about. Tangled. That one I know is not bootlegged because I got it when it was fresh and, and sealed. So. Tinkerbell. Lost treasure. Great fairy rescue. Secret of the wings. And the fairy pirate. One of these days, she has to meet the Great Civil. Brave. Finding Nemo. I do not own Finding Dory. Although I've heard about it. Monsters Inc. I do not own Monsters University. The Incredibles. El Capes. Although Gecko Noko has one. Yes, Cape Snag does happen. Toy Story. Toy Story 2. 
And three. And finally, up. Wait, one more. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. A classic. This is the only version I will ever watch. I think when they said... I think that uh, when they made a casting call for the live action version, I think someone said Tim Curry. And uh, Ron Howard said, Yeah, you know, Jim Carrey would make a great Grinch. And uh, someone said, No, I said Tim Curry. And he's like, Yeah, Jim Carrey, great, yeah. No. They should have gone with Tim Curry. Because Tim Curry would have been a better Grinch than Jim Carrey. And that ends my video for the day. I still have uh, about uh, 12, about eight more shelves left of videos. So I'll have to stay tuned until tomorrow.